Hi guys, Ben here from Built to Fish TV. Hopefully you've had a chance to check out our latest episode, Going Deep, where we head to my beloved west coast and head offshore prospecting some deep water canyons and pinnacles in search of delicious deep water eating fish. We used our favourite Daiwa New Zealand electric combos to prospect some new grounds and ultimately have a very successful day on one of the most stunning parts of New Zealand's coastline. I'm the first to admit that I was pretty sceptical when I was first introduced to electric reels. It kind of felt like cheating. I guess I'm old school in regards that I feel like if you were going to drop down to those depths trying to target deep water species, you should earn that fish by manually winding it in. But I have to say I'm converted and I'm going to tell you why. These electric reels really come into their own when you're prospecting new grounds. When you're asking your crew to drop repeatedly to two, three, four hundred meters without catching any fish, they're going to get tired pretty quickly and it's going to get old real fast. So having the ability to drop baits down quickly and wind them up quickly without your crew burning all their energy is super valuable and it's ultimately going to mean that you're going to have a lot more success when you're targeting those often difficult to find deep water species, the likes of your harpookers and your bass. On our latest episode, we used two of our favorite Daiwa electric reel combos. I'll talk you through them now. The first is the workhorse of the Daiwa electric reel family, the Tanacom 1000. Its reputation speaks for itself. And for those of you that are keen to try deep dropping and electric reel fishing for the first time, this is a really good option. It won't break the bank and it's a very, very capable electric reel. I've got a thousand meters, a whole kilometer of Saltiga 80 pound boat right on there. This reel packs a punch with an impressive 22 kilos of drag. And when it's paired up with the Saltist 56 HT rod, you've got a very, very capable deep water electric combo. This reel has got all the features you'd expect from a top of the line electric reel. It's got jigging function, it's got high power mode, it's got the high speed mode. You've got the jog and pickup. You've got the dropping assist so you won't get your overwinds and it's all displayed clearly and easy to read on that digital readout. It gives you your depth which is most important especially when you're targeting those fish such as blue nose that tend to sit a little bit off the bottom. I can check the depth on my Garmin sounder, see where the fish are holding and drop my baits right to where I want them to be ultimately meaning you're going to catch more fish. The other reel that we used on our Going Deep episode was this flagship model. This is the Daiwa Seaborg 1200MJ, an absolutely incomparable electric reel, top of its class. It's got an incredible 33 kilos of drag. Again, I've got over a kilometer of 80 pound Daiwa Saltiga boat braid on there. This has got high power mode, high speed mode. That jigging function where you can set it to jig through different areas of the water column, really useful when it comes to dropping things like your Daiwa Medi jig down into the depths. Obviously, it's got the same digital readout for dropping those baits right into the area of the water column where you're marking the fish and where you're going to catch those big dogs. When it's paired up with the Daiwa Grand Wave bent butt rod, you've got an absolute monster of a setup. There's not too many fish in the ocean that this bad boy can't pull in. This rod's got a swivel tip, meaning your line's always been presented nicely as it comes off the end of the rod. It's not going to jump off the roller tip. I run these through Anderson plugs in my Surtees boat. You can also run them off an external battery, a motorcycle battery, and it'll really open up the possibilities for what you can explore out there on New Zealand's beautiful coastline. The other awesome thing that I've been using these electric reels for over the game season is my Seaborg has now become my dredge reel. I pull my braid off, put it on a spool for the summer, put on some 350 pound mono and that will very easily pair up with my dredge boom and pull in my strip dredge and I've been using my Tanacoms attached to the handrails in the roof of my boat, the hard top area of my boat to pull in a couple of squid daisy chains which is really improved my game fishing as well. So that could be another little selling point, the versatility of being able to use your electric reels as dredge and teaser reels as well. I'd highly recommend adding an electric reel or two to your quiver. It'll really open up your possibilities of fishing. There's not 
in my humble opinion, many better eating fish than those ones that reside in the depths. And having a couple of Daiwa New Zealand electric reels on your boat certainly massively improves your chances of getting a delicious feed of those prime table fish. The good news is they're all back in stock. Your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store has them on their shelves right now. So go down to your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store, check them out for yourselves. Next five not variable day, I'll see you out there. Shoo!